I'm Sam Greenwell and this is Greenwell Studios. Uh, we make resin model kits and some pre-paints now. We've got the Monster Chick line, the Zodiac line. Come and take a look. www.greenwellstudios.com Hi, I'm uh, Carl Leibcap and I'm with Monster Dork Studio. We're here at uh, Wonderfest 2008 and uh, I'm about to take you through some of our products that we have. The first one, which is the uh, first kit uh, that I had actually produced, is what got me started into doing this as you know, a little side hobby, is uh, Kiss the Cook. And that actually was featured, I featured it in the contest in 2005. And uh, there's, there's a head on the plate that you might recognize. <laughs> uh, and then next uh, in my series is we have uh, Shuna Sasi which is from Nightbreed Movie. Uh, and then we also have the Road Rash Critters, which uh, there's a set of three, and they're just different uh, zombieized roadkill animals. If you buy all three, they uh, sit together and make a, a, a road. And then next I have Big Guns, which is a comic book inspired, angel-like, cyborg type uh, woman. And it's sort of a double entendre, you'll see what I mean with the uh, Big Guns. My newest kit that we're previewing here is uh, the uh, prototype for the Breakfast of Champion. It's what's a tribute to George Romero. And that's about it what we have for you know for you right this time. But uh, you know, stop by. Uh, we have a website. It's uh, MonsterDorkStudio.com. I'm Steve Iverson, Cult TV Man. Um, we're at Wonderfest here. Uh, a few of the hot sellers this week, or this year at Wonderfest, we've got this glow-in-the-dark Voyager kit. Um, it's an exclusive to my shop from Mobius Models. We've got two different box art for it, the uh, interplanetary UFO style, and then one based on David Fisher's advertising art. The Sea View from Mobius Models is big. We've been selling a lot of those, along with light kits from Voodoo FX. Uh, the buildup we've got on the table is the Voodoo FX buildup to show off their lights. We've also been selling a lot of the Airfix Doctor Who kits from England. These were imported. Uh, they're beautiful kits. They've got lights and sound. They've got really detailed figures. We've got a new product out called Graveyard Scenes. It's a couple of bases for the old Monster Scenes kits from Aurora and uh, the upcoming bases or the upcoming kits from Mobius Models reissues of the monster scenes. We're selling light kits for various models, Star Trek Enterprises with lighting the cells. We've got customizing heads for the various monster models. Uh, you know, you can put an accurate Karloff Frankenstein head on your Aurora kit. We have custom bases for the Aurora kit put out by Night Owl Models. Aztec painting templates from uh, Aztec Dummy. Another popular item is the Sci-Fi and Fantasy Modeler magazine. Uh, Wilco Models, we have their 2001 kits, their Space Pod, their Orion, and their HAL nameplates, so they've been doing well.
Hey guys, this is Jesse from Resin Pimps. This is our line of products. We're doing lanterns and superheroes, Alpha Flight and Fantastic Four, all different kinds of stuff. We've got a forum, www.garagekits.us. Check us out. How you doing? John Diaz, Resin Reality, another Wonderfest 2008. And we got some good stuff here to show you that we did this year. Here's Leonidas, sculpted by Daniel Santos of Brazil. And uh, this has a neat little feature. It gets into change parts, you change heads, you change weapons and hands, and change bases. They have the other version built up right over there at the end of the table. It's an article in Kit Builders Magazine, built up by Dan Jorgensen. Next piece we have over here is uh, a Croyer. In the Micronaut series, sculpted by the talented Hel de Moriere, also from Brazil. He also did ROM. Didn't have time to get a build up done, but uh, we'll take care of that soon enough. Over here we have the Metaluna Mutant by the one and only Wayne the Dane Hansen. Comes with your choice terrain base or ship base, which was also done by Helder. Comes in Aurora scale with Aurora box art style box art and instruction included in the kit. And over here, we have the Batman bust. We just got this done. This is by another sculptor named Thiago Proven of Brazil. Rotocast, one piece. And the base was done by Helder. And up here, we have an original piece and uh, titled the Kung Fu Mantis, uh, kind of designed by Dan O'Co, sculpted by Fernando Coleman, also of Brazil. We're doing this also with translucent optional wings. You can buy regular wings or optional wings. It's quite an original kit, lots of spikes. Big hit at the show, we sold out. And of course, we have Mark Van Tyne's Frankenstein. Uh, this is one I did in a Kit Builders University class. I hadn't painted in about two and a half years, and I decided to take the class, so I had to come to Kentucky to paint. It's not finished, but it got me back into painting again. I'm very happy about that. And uh, come visit our website at Resin Realities at www.resinrealities.net, and you can email us at resinrealities at optonline.net to see more stuff. My name's John Pinkerton of Pinkerton Effects Models, and I have a few new things this year. Got a little bit of everything, but the newest guy this year is Wilbur. He was actually offered uh, as a built, finished guy, just as you see here. He's offered as a unbuilt model kit, but the zombie hamster's back. I have a squeaky zombie hamster that everyone seems to like. And, uh, we brought back the Frankenstein that we brought out last year, which uh, I'm not sure if actually you guys seen that one yet. You know, just literally uh, a little bit of everything else, but we're down here having a good time, and uh, that's about all. Hi, I'm Frank from Mobius Models, and these are the kits we're coming out with soon. The Invisible Man was designed by Chris White. Now, of course, the, the plastic on the production kits will be much clearer. Mm -hmm. This is still a, a test shot that we're working from for display.
monster scenes, the giant insect, the victim, and the Frankenstein, and the sea view, which is in stores already. The Voyager in stores already. The pod was just released. And the chariot from Lost in Space. Dr. Jekyll, our first release from last year. And Big Frankie, which will be out sometime next month. Until you see it in person, I don't think you realize how large he actually is. And the mummy, this is our resin prototype. It'll, it'll get scaled down for production and made in styrene, first half of 2009. And of course, Conan the Barbarian from issue number one of the Marvel Comics. That'll be a resin kit due in November of this year. Uh, for more information, check out our website at www.mobiusmodels.com or you can email us at customerservice at mobiusmodels.com. Hi, I'm Adam the Creature Kid here at Wonderfest, and uh, these are some of my sculpts that I've done. Uh, these are, you know, pins and stuff for my company. I also did uh, this super deformed kit. Um, this is another new one that I just did, uh, big seller here. Uh, this is my brand new Ben Chapman tribute that I've been working on for about a year now. This is the big, big ahuna of all creature models. and. Uh, these are some older minibus, just a few more things I've done. You know, this is, this is my creature, uh, one of my favorite ones. Thought it turned out really nice. And uh, just a couple of my other favorite classic monsters. Hello, my name is Tom Tverdick, and this is my booth, Far East Monsters. We create all the products you see here. Uh, the fuzzy poster here, the Ghidra and Godzilla, it's part of our Battle Zone series. We're making Destroy All Monsters, a recreation of the final battle. It'll be eight pieces, 11 monsters total. And we also have our fuzzy posters and our puzzle. Our puzzle is a giant sized puzzle for the kids. It comes with a poster. Oh, yeah. You can find us at www.fareastmonsters.com. Remember to check out our page and check out uh, uh, the link to our autism side. It's Tommy's page and we're all about awareness of autism. Thank you. Hi, my name is John Tucky. The company name is ExoFacto. The website is www.exofacto.com. We produce a wide range of resin garage kits for all different types of collectors, and we've used some of the best sculptors out there, including Jeff Yeager, Mike Falsigno, Joe Ladotti, Adam Doherty, and many, many others. Please drop by our website. Again, that's www.exofacto, and check out all the wonderful model kits. Thanks. Hello, my name is uh, Blake Burroughs. I uh, run uh, Burroughs Model Works. I've been doing this for seven or eight years, and mainly uh, the company was born out of my love of stop motion characters of uh, the work of uh, Ray Harryhausen, somewhat Jim Danforth, and I uh, sculpt characters that I've mainly uh, admired as a, as a little kid, and I uh, have got to where it's grown into somewhat of a fairly successful side project and I continue to do the characters that I enjoy and I do uh, King Kong and uh, prehistoric animals here and there and mainly Harry Hosen characters 
but I'm also starting to branch out in some other things. I'm a fan of the, the Van Kiss. I've done uh, a recent figure of one of the more obscure areas of their career. And I uh, continue to do things that I enjoy. And hopefully the, it comes across in the sculpture the fact that I enjoy the subject matter. And given the amount of time it takes to do one, you have to enjoy it to see it through to the end. <laughs> Hi, my name is Al Matron. I'm the new owner of Geometric Designs. We specialize in resin model kits. Here is one right here called the Amit. This is done by an old artist, Mick Woods. And we have uh, kits up here. You can see some of our build-up. Alkenstein, Amy. Well, the King Kong kit, that's in process of being painted. And as you go down the line, you'll see the Cyclops kit. And down towards the bottom shelf, you'll see some of the old classic geometric kits, which now we're adding customized bases to everything. Also, we're reviving a lot of the old kits that Geo did back in the early days so everybody could get what they want. And if you're interested, check out our website at www.geometricdesign.net. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jimmy Flintstone, this is my stuff, and uh, you can check out my stuff on my website, jimmyflintstonestudios.com. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm your host, Rob Madison. On this episode, we have Monarch Models. Scott McKillop and Gary Makatura were kind enough to give us a couple minutes of their time at Wonderfest 2008. I'm Scott McKillop. I'm uh, the president of the Monarch Model Corporation, and we're here in Louisville, Kentucky this weekend to show what we worked on in 2007 and what we've got planned for the remainder of 2008, and perhaps a surprise or two that'll spill into 2009.
Hi, I'm Gary Makatura for Monarch Model Corporation. Um, some of you may have seen me in the past with the Stratton Holland Products Company What If series. It was done back in the early 1990s. Uh, needless to say, I've been involved with this kind of stuff for quite some time, uh, over 20 years now. Fortunately, back in the early 1990s, or actually in the late 1980s, I had the opportunity to study uh, a good deal of James Bama's original work for the Aurora kits that he had done. Uh, I actually had possession of several of them for a long time. So I was able to study the style and the materials and great detail on the things and I decided to put that to use in the old What If kits, uh, the old What If boxes, the imaginary monster model boxes. Uh, unfortunately I didn't have a lot of time to do, to do those the way I wanted to but uh, in the following years a lot of people saw those and enjoyed them and now thanks to Monarch Models and Scott McKillop uh, we're producing actual kits of a lot of these things and I'm able to uh, utilize that Bama style that I worked so hard to study and try to emulate, try, uh, to actually grace the boxes of some of these things and apply some of my uh, knowledge of Aurora kits into the design of these things. And of course with the uh, incredible sculpting talent of people like Jeff Yeager, uh, it's such a dream come true to be able to see these things actually come to fruition in polystyrene plastic. I do the instruction sheets as well, again trying to emulate the Aurora things. Just uh, the, the only difference is really is that they're done in color now, which is actually something I did with the old what-if instruction sheets. Uh, they were done in color, no, not many people know that, but I actually painted all the illustrations in color. It just made it easier to get the, the shadowing and the tones right. I just found that the color worked better and I always thought, hey, if I'm doing them in color anyway, we might as well just go the whole route with it. And uh, Monarch has brought that to life. So it's a nice little update on the Aurora style, but yet still keeping it authentic. We had a really great time at Wonderfest and got to meet a lot of great people. You'll be seeing more episodes of the Wonderfest interviews along with our model reviews in the future. So if you have any comments, suggestions, or would like something reviewed on Monster Model Review, you can check us out on the web at monstermodelreview.com. And thanks again for watching.